Hi, uh, everyone. Um, I want to thank uh, the subscribers who took the time to um, respond to the sneaker question. In fact, two days later, I'm still getting responses, and they're, um, they're interesting. I think the favorite one I got was uh, a suggestion that I should go barefoot, and I'd love to see the uh, response of potential tenants if I did that. That would be uh, uh, interesting. Um, another one was kind of, they, they were all pretty good. Uh, sneakers for running around seven spaces, loafers for closing the deal. Uh, and they just keep, keep coming in. They're very humorous and uh, practical. Somebody said Dr. Scholl's uh, inlays or something, which, which is a pretty good idea. I'm going to give that a, a, a try. Um, I've been looking at uh, some additional questions, and I mean, so some of these topics are just um, excellent for uh, anybody who um, is looking to lease uh, a commercial space, and um, situations are applicable also for um, anybody who's looking to buy an apartment, acquire residential uh, space, I think. Um, got a question from somebody by the name of Narp Dur, N-A-R-P-D-U-U-R. Um, and his question, which I'll focus on today, a really good one, was how would you approach finding a space for different kinds of um, businesses? And he breaks it up into um, retail space, office space, uh, sort of niche uses like medical and art galleries. Um, it's, a, it's a great question. Uh, before I would break it up into different uses, I would get down to the basics. And I think one of the um, biggest issues when I receive inquiries that make it difficult to uh, do an effective search for uh, potential tenants is not having uh, the parameters defined. There's certain parameters that any broker needs before they can do um, a comprehensive search. And I would say half the job is doing uh, the proper research, which it's very, very time consuming because it's not just going to the broker database, it's contacting the landlords to see if the spaces are available. What, uh, whether there's offers on them, leases out, what the landlord's going to do uh, in terms of concessions for a potential tenant, which could be in the form of a build out, uh, uh, free um, uh, rent, base, or what they'll do in the way of certain base level work if uh, they would like the uh, tenant uh, to build the space. So, in order for um, any broker to do effective research, I mean, this can be anywhere in the world for any commercial space. They need to know what your budget is. I get so many inquiries where um, the tenant would have thought things through, but the one item they haven't addressed is a budget. And it's just a total waste of time for the broker because what will happen, it's three times as much, much uh, uh, research. It's just not an effective way to uh, move forward. Uh, another thing to think about is the specific geography. Get a lot of inquiries where somebody may specify a certain neighborhood like uh, Midtown South and um, access to transportation at the end of the day is critical and they don't mention that so I have to research a lot more territory. So uh, your broker uh, can really hone in on the right spaces if you're as specific um, as possible. Uh, the square footage in New York City uh, very frequently, uh, tenants don't have an idea about loss factors. So a, a broker will spend three days researching the market and show them space, and it's going right back to the drawing board afterwards once the tenant understands what loss factors are. And it's not an effective use of the tenant's time nor of the uh, broker's time. Uh, another big factor is the use. Um, there's all sorts of niche uses out there. I actually got an inquiry yesterday from a sign franchise uh, who wants an above grade space in an office building. And for that, it's, it's almost semi-manufacturing and it's sort of touch and go. If they, don't use, if they use chemicals, it really reduces any space if they have any kind of uh, substantial traffic. But it's a little bit of a, a project to identify a landlord who's comfortable with the use. Though, uh, kind of very, very light, Customized manufacturing is um, 
a possibility in certain office buildings, but it, it's challenging. Uh, other uses, give me an example, something like I could get a, a call from a medical practitioner um, and they can't have steps because they need ADA compliant access. Uh, some medical uses, it's um, that's not so critical. A couple of steps want to uh, make uh, a, a difference, but it's a better idea to tell the broker in advance so they can research um, the right space. Another thing which is important to think through and, and mention this to a broker, if you're using for an office, if you're looking for an office space, what amenities do you require in the office space? Do you need a 24-7 attended lobby? Uh, do you need an A building? Do, do you need air conditioning in uh, the corridors? Um, is it important that there be an ADA compliant bathroom on your uh, floor? Miss these details, broker can't do their job. Also, if you're looking for an office for your uh, building, it's um, a good idea to tell the broker if you're looking for an A, B, or C uh, building. A buildings have the, the uh, ultimate in amenities, 24-7 uh, attended lobby, lobby, air conditioner in the quarters, property management um, on uh, premises. They tend to offer more in the way of uh, build-outs. These are more the um, side street loft buildings, may not have an attended lobby. Um, often they're very architecturally interesting, but they're sort of the basic uh, in the way of amenities, and they're mo the most um, affordable. Uh, when you're looking for an office building, it's important to also consider the image of your uh, business. If you have a lot of clients who are visiting and you're selling very high-end services, uh, big ticket uh, services, uh, you probably want to be in a, an A building, uh, like uh, what are some good examples of A buildings that you would know of? The Empire State Building is an A building. Rockefeller Center is an A building. The Chrysler Building is an A building. Most of the A buildings are located on avenues, like Madison Avenue, Fifth Avenue. I'd say 90% of the buildings, office buildings on those avenues are A buildings. Now, A, B, or C classification have nothing to do with retail. So that's, that's not really a, a consideration. So before, whether you're looking for retail, office, medical, gallery space, try to think through the criteria in as much detail before you call the broker. The broker is going to really appreciate it. He'll have a better selection of space and you're going to save time when you're uh, looking uh, for space. Now to get into the specifics of NARP doors um, question, he broke it up into uh, different into retail, office, and medical and art gallery. For retail, what I think would be really key is the foot traffic, the demographics of the area, nearby um, public transportation. Also, kind of uh, each for for retail, each block can have its own uh, identity. You have. Uh, micro markets. To give you an example, I was doing a um, search for a macaron, a French macaron franchise this summer, and they wanted to be on the Upper East Side. Kind of focused in on that area because it's a very, very European area with a high uh, net worth. So you can have very, and, and that area is geography is between um, Third Avenue and Fifth Avenue. For um, Office space, sort of the details I went through a minute ago, it's the type of building, access to transportation, what the landlord will, will do, uh, do for you, uh, loss factors, and of course the square footage uh, that you need. For medical and art gallery, let's go to um, quickly through um, medical. What's key for medical practitioners is that the landlord will allow, allow traffic, um, which medical entails and uh, that they'll allow water in the space because with water there's a potential for leaks and that can cause a lot of damage. The number of medical friendly landlords is very very uh, limited and what's happened over the years is certain landlords have specialized in that uh, use. There's this whole series of buildings on um, West 57th Street that are medical friendly like 57 West 57th Street 200 West 57th Street, also on that area on the east side, 133 East 58th um, Street, they will um, welcome medical, 
They may even do some of the bill data uh, for the medical. Good choice for medical providers. And um, that's um, essentially it. I hope this is helpful. Um, I will um, be working on integrating uh, photos and graphics into these uh, videos over the weekend, so hopefully the quality will be improved next week. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for uh, viewing this, and um, have a good weekend. Bye now.